What are Trump's lowest moments of the decade? That is a difficult question. And it's so hard to pick. It's like, what's your worst type of cancer? There's so much to hate. Trump's ability to top himself when it comes to low moments really seems to know no bounds. This guy's entire presidential campaign and his entire presidency has been about raising the temperature, raising the rhetoric for, what is it now, four years, five years? It feels like an eternity. Trump's lowest moment of the decade began in 2012 and continued for several years with his series of tweets linking vaccinations with autism. It's untrue, it's anti-scientific, it's a conspiracy theory. It was at a White House event honoring the Navajo code talkers and made a racial slur. He said, however, there's a member of Congress who's been here even longer than you, and we call her Pocahontas. When Donald Trump called Haiti s whole countries, he said, how come we don't get more people coming from Sweden? And some of these people in these countries who he's talking about, they don't have anything to do with America. And that just let me know that he doesn't like them because they have black skin. The president's response to the Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico was particularly devastating, in my opinion. I think Trump's lowest moment of the decade was installing a family separation policy at the border and declared all Mexicans to be rapists and murderers, really vilifying all Latinos and immigrants seeking across the border. We're seeing them literally put young people into cages. When he gives a speech in Warsaw, Poland, it's a speech that's laden with all kinds of uh, nativist and, and racist and chauvinistic descriptions. And about a month after that, you get the Charlottesville riots. So to me, there's no question that there was a connection. What white supremacists and neo-Nazis and racists saw was that this was their guy. I have to call out as a Muslim, his call in December of 2015 for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims. And the worst part, his audience, his fans, they cheered. Trump's lowest moment of the decade was when he won the 2016 presidential election. Had he lost to Hillary Clinton, he would have been remembered as an also-ran. Not an inconsequential figure, to be sure, but hardly one of great historical significance. Conan, the hero dog of the al-Baghdadi raid. The inability for the press to get any actual confirmation out of the administration about whether Conan was a boy dog or a girl dog, that broke me. <laughs> the birther conspiracy theory, and Trump was able to use his celebrity to get this on Fox News, ABC, NBC, all sorts of mainstream media outlets. The press was afraid to call it racist at the time. If they had called it racist, if they'd called Donald Trump racist, I have to imagine we might not be looking at a President Donald Trump today.